Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm doing a video on the San Diego Comic Con wish list. Now this is my wish list. This is the Funko exclusives of the summer of 2018 and I would really want to make a wish list of all the ones that I would like to pick up. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. I was sitting here and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go all Chris Jericho and I'm going to start putting the pops and saying, you just made the list. So I thought to myself, why don't I share it with you guys on here and you guys can also share your list of San Diego Comic Con exclusives that you want to pick up in the comments down below. So let's waste no time and let's see what the first on my list is. This is in no particular order, this is just the stuff that I'm going to be looking for in future toy hunts and pop hunts on this channel. So one of the pops that has made my list guys is none other than the WWE's Oscar. This pop is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive and I really want to pick this up for my collection. She's one of my favourite women's wrestlers and I'm big into wrestling and I collect my wrestling pops. So this is definitely one that had to be put on this list. Then guys we have Marvel's Valkyrie. This is a fantastic pop. I'm sorry about the low quality image but this is a fantastic pop. I can't wait to get it. I really love her in the Valkyrie outfit. She's one of the standout characters in the Thor Ragnarok movie, and that's one of my top five Marvel films, so this is a must-have for me. Guys, sticking with the Marvel thing, we have the Smiths exclusive here in the UK. We have Kraglin. Now, the EMP exclusive was Valkyrie. I should drop that in there. Everyone I do know, I will drop in where they're exclusive in the UK. But Kraglin is definitely on my list. One of the good characters in Guardians of the Galaxy. Again, one of my top five favourite films of Marvel is Guardians of the Galaxy, so he's definitely on this list. Then guys, moving over to a cartoon theme is Pepe Le Pew, one of my favourite all-time Looney Tunes characters. I love the Looney Tunes pops, I actually don't have any of them yet. Pepe Le Pew is probably going to be my first pickup for Looney Tunes pop. It is a great looking pop and I'm glad they have made this character. I always liked him when I was younger. And sticking with the cartoon theme, my next pick is a Hanna-Barbera Captain Caveman. Now Captain Caveman when I was a kid was fantastic. I used to love Captain Caveman when he used to shout Captain Caveman! That was just the best thing. So this is why he's in my list. He's a great character and I can't wait to have him and Pepe Le Pew in my Funko Pop collection. And then guys, a Harry Potter theme pop. I'm going for Nearly Headless Nick. He, the go in the dark version, he's definitely on my list. I'm a huge Potter fan. And um, alongside this other pop here of Moaning Myrtle, that is a great pop. I'm so glad they decided to do Moaning Myrtle and Nearly Headless Nick in the glow in the dark mode. They both look fantastic and they're both great pops and I can't wait to get them in my Potter collection. Then guys, we've got Western Morty. <laughs> Morty just looks great in the cowboy outfit. That's really cool. I'm really disappointed that they went with these two though. I really wish we'd have got different characters for the San Diego Comic Con exclusives this year. I was hoping for more, but I'm happy with Rick and Morty stuff, whatever we get. The Western Morty looks great, and now we move over here to the Rick Western Rick. Now, rest of Rick, Western Rick just looks even better because he's still in his scientist outfit and just his sad looking glum face. But these two are cool pops as they are, and I'm glad we're getting them, but I just wish maybe we got a different few characters we don't have for the Rick and Morty wave that are still out there to come but hopefully we get some more in the future. Straight into the Star Wars Pops, guys, and this is the only one I want from Comic-Con this year, is to Cad Bane. Now, Cad Bane is one of the best characters in the Clone Wars. If you've watched that, guys, you know what I'm talking about. One of the best bounty hunters in the galaxy, and I definitely want to hunt this pop down and pick it up from a Star Wars collection. In general, just my collection. It's a fantastic looking pop. And if we move on to the next pop here, guys, it's the Game of Thrones. It is clearly, it's the Game of Thrones Olean Tarrell. I don't know if I said that right, but um, she is a great looking pop as well. Fantastic, another great addition to the collection. She's a, just a brilliant character last season and all the seasons prior. And I'm really, really glad we are getting her in a Funko Pop form and a great addition to my Game of Thrones collection. So she is on my, so she is on my list for sure. I am definitely 100% getting this one and I cannot wait. Then guys, moving on to the Stranger Things Pops, we have Dustin in his snowball dance outfit. This is a really, really cool pop. This is where Dustin ends up dancing with Nancy at the prom, which is really, really cool. He looks really, really dapper, and I like the way his hair looks in this Funko Pop. Can't wait to pick this up one up for sure. This is definitely a must-have on my list. And then finally, guys, we have Billy and Karen. This is my favourite two-pack of all time. This is fantastic. Karen is Mike's mum, and for as some people, if you watch the show, might know that Karen, as in... Um, Mike's mum is a bit of a hottie in the show and obviously Billy is the young stud and he's flirting with her at the door. She's in her bathrobe and it's just a really cool scene. Check it out guys, season two of Stranger Things and this is a great, fantastic pop. They brought this out and it's incredible. 
And I know I said this, this was in no particular order, but I think number one on my list is this, the 13th Doctor. This is a really cool looking pop and something that I would really love in my collection. So I'm going to try my best to pick her up. I don't know if she's just exclusive actually at the con or if she's going to be released or if she's going to be released at retail. I hope she is because she I definitely need her in my collection and she's probably my number one favourite of the Comic Con pops so far. So let me know what you think of her in the comments below and let me know if you know where I can pick her up. So guys that was my must have list for San Diego Comic Con exclusives for 2018 the summer ones and um, yeah that is my list so drink it in man drink in the list of the nerdy collector. Let me know in the comments of what you thought of my list drop me your list below of what ones you're going to pick up the ones that, if there's any of the same if i've got or anything you think i've left out that i should be picking up because it's a fantastic pop let me know below guys i really appreciate you leaving a comment and if you do leave me a list and i'll comment on it and we'll have a chat about what funko pops from this con you're picking up so thank you guys for watching this video i do really appreciate it please like and follow me on all social medias link in the description below don't forget to hit that subscribe button that's really important thank you guys everyone that does that i really appreciate everyone that does that so hit the subscribe button and the notification bell like I said, like button, social media, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Drop me a comment and I'll see you next time, guys. My Barcelona toy hunt will be out soon. Bye-bye.